I'm Katrina and this is Sew and Tear and today I'm going to talk to you about locks. Locking your, uh, your animals is important. It's important to know that they are safe, that they can't get out, that things can't get back in, can't get in, but there's a few things that we need to know when, when asking what kind of lock do we need. Um, number one, make sure you can get out. I'll put a picture here. It's self-explanatory. So we were in with our chickens and then it was getting dark and we were petting the bunnies and, and you know, everything was fine. And we turned to get out and we pulled our little loop to get out and we were locked in. <laughs> the, uh, this had broken. This part had broken. It's been opened so many times that it had broken. Now we still are using this, but let me show you what else is inside. For our aviaries, we use a gate latch and a carabiner. This carabiner is attached onto a piece of wire. You could use string or whatever, just so that we don't, you know, drop it on the ground, put it in our pocket, forget that it where it is. Um, reason why I have this on is for raccoons. So apparently, the chickens want to talk to you too. <laughs> So it, for raccoons, because I don't think that rac raccoons could be getting this, you know, it's kind of a, a hard thing for them to do. Um, but if it was just this, sure, they could figure out how to open that. Um, so that's what I use. Let me show you inside. Excuse me, ladies. Now on the inside, we have a handle. This is just from a dresser and when this closes, it closes. It's not gonna open at all. So when we wanna get out, we pull that and it pulls it and it opens. That's what didn't work. So something I have done in all of my aviaries now. So something that we do is we hang a wire inside the aviary now. This is something we didn't have. And what we do, if you get stuck in here, is that this is something that you can this is something that you can push through and unlock it from the inside. It might take some finagling, but you're able to do it. So, in fact, let me show that from the outside. I'll do that from the outside so you guys can see what happens. All right, so let's pretend that you're locked in your aviary because this little wire here has uh, snapped or your string or whatever you're using. But you have a wire that you've stashed inside your aviary and you can get out, okay? So, this is how it works. I can, I can put it through and then open it more if I push it through again. And this is easier because I can actually see it in the camera. <laughs> but you're going for this latch right here and I have a kink in my wire, so that doesn't work as well. So I'm having to bend it to get it just right. And oh, I got it. And there we, there we go, oh, I almost go. So this is gonna take some time, but I can hook that, pull, and there I, there I go. Well, there I almost was. There we go. So that took some finagling, but you can do it. You can get out without destroying your coop. Or without, you can get out without destroying your aviary. So, this is just a piece of wire. I suggest you have one in your aviary or in something, whatever you're going to be inside of. If you cannot physically reach the latch, that you have a way to reach the latch. That was lesson learned by experience. <laughs> So I have that system on both my chickens, 
the Racken house and my quails. So I have it's the same system, same same thing for both of them. Um, both of the quail aviaries have the same system. So now let's look at the cage setups. So we have two hutches inside with the chickens, and this is the Racken house. Um, and they have a very simple kind of latch. Now this latch is enough that they're not gonna get out and they're not gonna hurt themselves uh, and fall to the ground. But it's not gonna, like if it was out in the open, you know, a raccoon could totally go like that and open it, right? So it's secure enough for them because of where they are. Now Tortellini's, there she is. Tortellini's hutch has three of these. One, two, three. Well, why the heck did I do that, right? Well, here's why. When we first got these hutches, um, they were all low to the ground, like this far off the ground, and we wanted to raise them up so they were away from the chickens. <laughs> You want to be the star of the show? <laughs> You're a little innocent now the camera has you has it on you. <laughs> As I was saying, when we got this, um, it was very uh, close to the ground. It was very close to the ground, and then uh, we actually raised it up. We added some height to it to keep so we could keep chickens under them. Chickens and rabbits can share some diseases and so it's important to have space between them. Um, <laughs> she's gonna lay an egg here pretty soon I think. <laughs> so these were already made. These were already made. I did not make them but they needed to fit in the space we already had. We, we had a skinny rabbit hutch in here Lady, shush. We already had a rabbit hutch in here, but it was skinnier and the doors could open. When I got this, this is what happens if you try and open the whole door. Okay, see that, it doesn't open. So we came up with a solution to make it fold. This way it can open all the way and I can get all, it can open all the, all the way and I can get all the way in to her space. The only thing with this is it's a little hard to latch. I have to hold the center with my elbow to latch it just because of its funky design, but it works. You guys cheering each other on? Huh? Here's the thing about my chickens. The one that's laying is a quiet one. The ones that aren't laying are the cheerleaders. Isn't that right, over raptor? You being a cheerleader? Hmm? Huh? This is where we get the eggs from our chicken. This is the, the nest box. We need to replace this roof already. We made it with materials that we had. And again, I use this carabiner and a hasp lock. And this can open, oops, there's somebody in there. Hi, sweetie. Oh, this year you're gonna use that side? Last year they used the other side. All right, go ahead. I don't, I don't need to bother you too much. Watch your tail. Watch your tail. <laughs> so somebody's inside laying. Last year they all laid on this side. I guess maybe this year they might be laying on that side. Um, anyway, it's super easy to get to as a person, but super hard to get to as a raccoon. Hi, Parmesan. 
Now all the other rabbits have very similar uh, enclosures. They're inside an, an aviary. Hi. Um, but Mr. Parmesan, he is has a hut on his own. So if it were to unlatch, then he would be running around the yard and have potential for issues with um, you know raccoons and stuff like that. So are you happy that we're over here? <laughs> So his had his came with only this latch, which is super easy to just flip open, and that could be accidentally opened. It could be opened by you know a bird, um, and we don't want that to happen. I just latch it just because it's there. It's not necessary with this system. But what I have here is a carabiner again, super helpful, and this is called a hasp lock, H-A-S-P. Um, they have hasp locks that turn, and they have hasp locks that are are uh, stable. This is the one that stays where it is. Um, and so this is just one piece on one side, one piece on the other, and you close it like that and put something through it. You could put a stick through it and it would, it would be fine. Um, but this is how his works and he just happens to have two locks because this was already on it. And so this can open and we can say hello. Hi sweetie. And then it can close pretty easily. Now, something to keep something to keep in mind with your bucks enclosures is that they, I guess, need to be more earthquake safe because all the breeding happens in his penthouse. So um, things get a little rocking and. Uh, this door and and the and the legs kind of settle every time, so you need to check that. So sometimes this lock can get super tight, and that just means that one of the legs needs to be moved up or moved down or something. So that's just something to keep in mind if you have your buck in a standalone hutch. Huh, Parmesan? <laughs> All right, on to the next one. So this is our second aviary, and you can see it has the same system. Super easy to unlock and then open. And inside, inside we have some sleepy bunnies. <laughs> so here are the are the latches that we have for for our bunnies. Um, this is the original latch that came with the with the hutch. It's just a simple hook, and again, this is okay because it's inside a larger aviary, um, and it doesn't come open. Now, this one had a similar one, but the people who had it before told us that she would push it open. It wasn't secure. She would push it open, and they'd have to chase her around the yard. Um, because we, well, I don't want to do that anyway, but because we have it off the ground, um, it is, it would not be safe for her to fall out. So we, uh, replace that with a hasp. So we have, again, a carabiner, which you drop and it, it just, you know, it just hangs there. And then this is just a hasp block and it just is easy to open and close. And it's really easy. Do you guys hear this madness? Somebody's about to lay an egg. Let's go find out who. Oh, they see me coming. Well, Smilo was in there, huh? Sure, I come over, you guys stop. So the two that were talking were Overaptor and Rexy, and Smilo was in the box. Yeah? Who's next? My, my girls like to cheerlead for each other instead of making noise themselves. It's pretty funny. And here is another, this is on our main quail aviary, another lock that is simply a carabiner in a gate lock, and it's easy, it opens, it closes. Another reason to have this, other than for raccoons, 
is that these sometimes get worn out a little bit and they might not close all the way and they pop open. I've had that happen when I've had that happen when I was inside. Um, but it could totally, you know, if you close it and it doesn't quite close all the way and could slide open, then your birds could all go away. So I like to have this. I think it's handy. It's cheap, easy. I mean, Amazon, Harbor Freight, whatever. They all have things like that. So that's what I recommend. <laughs> so there's one last thing. This is for our rabbit um, grow out area. We use the same thing as I use out there. They're smaller just because they're smaller doors and um, that's what was at the store. And it is again just a little carabiner and a hasp block. And it's really simple to put on. It has three screws over here, four screws over here. I lost one, but that's okay. Um, and then that just, that just opens up and works just great. Um, that's what we use here. It's been working. Uh, we haven't had any animals get out of the doors and we haven't had any, hi sweetie. And we haven't had any uh, thing get in, which is good. So there's one thing that I had, so there's one thing I forgot to mention uh, with regards to locks. It's not really a lock, but it kind of is. So we had an experience we had an experience where we had a baby bunny fall out of this. So I will insert a clip here, but this uh, had come out. Mama had pushed it out and there was a, a hole there and we had a baby fall all the way down. You don't belong down there. No, 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 no. Oh gosh, come here. No, you guys stay away, stay away. No, no, stay away. All right, baby, no. Oh, okay. I see what happened. I see how you got out. Come here. Oh. Hi, mama. So that's how it got out. I was running around, it was completely fine, but it, maybe it couldn't have, because we have chickens. Um, but what we did do on all of them, um, even the ones that didn't happen, is we added this wire. And it, it, it is wired to these to the screen. Um, I would not trust these ever again, this little thing, because those can be pushed up, I guess, easily. I don't know. How hard did you try to get that up, Mama? She's not answering. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, so that's just one more thing to think about when uh, securing your animals. So I hope this has been helpful and I hope you guys don't get locked in your aviary <laughs> like we did. And uh, yeah, so we had to call a neighbor and say, hey, are you home? She said, yeah. Oh, do you want to come over and let us out of our aviary? Yeah. That was the best thing ever <laughs> for her. <laughs> she came over and let us out. It was nearly dark by that time, but we both had a good laugh and she took a picture before she let us out. So it was pretty cool. Um, but now we know better. <laughs> if you have a latch you cannot reach from the inside, make sure you can. <laughs> All right. I hope that all of your animals are safe and they are um, locked up good and that you are able to get out of everything that you can get into. All right, have a good day.